All you need is presence of God, glory. That's all you need. All this other thing is essential. People are coming to tell you what they've read from the Bible. When are you going to use what you've read from the Bible and make it to become a reality for yourself? That's all it is. Sudden, sudden death will come to you if you don't take care of your physical need. I was having migraine headache. Always. They gave me shot. They scanned my brain. I was fine. There was no high blood pressure. There was not this. There was not that. Then my doctor gave me a shot when I was in Wisconsin in La Crosse at the hospital where I worked as a chaplain. They gave me a shot. Heavy shot. I mean, they, it's so heavy that when my doctor has to give it to me herself, not a nurse, herself. And I lay down on, the, on her couch in, in, her, in her office for like about an hour for it to wear off. If you stand up and walk, you fall because it's heavier. It takes over your body. And I thought that was it. Some years later, the migraine came back again on one side of my head. Then I said, you know what? This is not just a prayer thing. The Holy Spirit said to me, go to your doctor and get checked again. And then my doctor said, you have had a sign of high blood pressure since you were a kid. How you've survived it, I don't know. And immediately he put one tiny pill in my hand and I take it, bam, it all goes. It went away. Then I said, okay, God, now I know what it is. Now you heal me of it. And then God began. Because what you don't know, you will not get the healing. Revelation leads to miracle signs. Many of you want miracle signs and wonders. You cannot have signs, miracles, and wonders when you are ignorant of what your problem is. It's just like you cannot cast out a demon until you know what kind of demon is in there. The police department will not have any arrests until they have a description. And then they go after the description. You cannot just walk into the street and start catching everybody. That's the same way it is. You must know whether it is the spirit of death that is behind something to take you out at the age that your father was taken out or your mother was taken out. Many people, the spirit of death will take them out through employing other spirits. Like, for example, the spirit of death and dumb that is in charge of suicide, schizophrenia. Um, what, is, what is this one that people shake? What do we call it? Um, epilepsy. Epilepsy. All of them come under the arch, the arch devil called spirit of death and dumb. Because it also makes those people sometimes deaf and dumb. They are all connected. Lying spirit is also a big arch demon, arch devil. And lying spirit is also, um, it, it, it works hand in hand with familiar spirit. And that's also a big spirit that governs the religious world, including the church world. Familiar spirit and lying spirit. Yep. That's why the church world is messed up in a lot of ways. So make sure you get checked. It doesn't mean that because you, you have the Holy Ghost, have you given your physical body what your physical body wants? The minerals, the vitamins, etc. Your body has what it needs to survive on earth. God is not coming to drop it inside you. He's already put it in plants and vegetables and fruits and pills, etc. <laughs> it's like somebody 
somebody complaining. It's like a man complaining that he cannot have an erection. Just a minor erection problem. Minor. It's not a big thing. And I asked him, have you tried Viagra? He said, no, you better go and tell your doctor. They will find the right thing for you. And stop complaining. My error can cause heart attacks. Well, the doctors will tell him. The doctor can give him something better than Viagra. Other, other cultures have something. Other cultures have other medication. Yeah, there's alternatives besides Viagra. He was just giving a demonstration. Right. Of the medications out there. Right. Dr. Prescribe was right for you. Right. Including the one I heard that they can even use something to pump someone's uh, something or something. There's a yeah, lot. Right. There's a lot of things out there. So while you wait for God to heal you, keep function. Don't don't just don't just. Like some people, they have just a minor, a, 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 a minor problem. I mean, there are a lot of medical doctors I know who are having attention deficit disorder. A lot of doctors, a lot of judges. There are judges who have to shoot, shoot themselves insulin. And they've been doing that since they were young. And they finish law school for some people a little minor things like this you give up on life you don't want to be anything oh because i have this disability really how did somebody who doesn't have hands and leg become the world greatest scientist someone without leg and hands how did that person do it and the rest everything is fine except one little problem a little minor problem with your eyes, a little minor problem with your ears, a little minor speech impediment, a little problem with your leg, and you sit down and you said, I'm done, I'm finished. That's not fair. And that's what the devil is waiting for, for you to go into despair and give up in life. Why was I born without hands? Why was I born without legs? You have to curse out your father and mom. That's, that's not fair on life. Make sure that you give your physical body what it needs so that sudden death doesn't strike at you. Some people do not, some people do not even know that they are diabetic. And even when a doctor puts you on medication, you don't want to strictly stay on that medication. Brothers and sisters, I know of great men of God who, who healed people of different sickness, including AIDS. They healed them. They were healed, but there was a mistake in that healing. He forgot to tell them after the healing, go and check with your doctor, like every great man of God does. You are healed, but still check with your doctor. And those people just flew back to their countries. They went, to, they went to where the man of God was. Famous man of God out there in Nigeria. And when the people came back to their country, they all died, one after the other. They started dying. So, let's be careful about these things. Let's be very, very careful. Sudden death is not a good thing. Take care of yourself. So that you don't die suddenly and leave and, and leave your destiny that you've not fulfilled. Number two, sudden death comes because of fear. You are afraid of life, you are afraid of people, you are afraid of death, and it takes you out. Sudden death comes because you are into a war with people that you should not be involved in war with. You are into a war that you have no business being in a war. So they take you out because you are in the wrong place. Wrong location can result in you being taken out of. Rebellion will cause sudden death to come to you. 
there are sins that will lead to sudden death. I'm serious. Poverty can lead to sudden death. Grief, stress, oppression, depression, anxiety can whack you out of life quickly. Think about it. If you live a life of constant panic, problems. Now, this is why I want people to stop allowing yourself to be attracted to negative people, to problem people. If, if you are in love with somebody and that person has too many problems around him, the family doesn't want you, please walk away. Somebody is a quarrelsome person, angry person. Please walk away. Because they will lead to your sudden death. If you and your husband are fighting and pointing guns at each other, it's about time that you leave. Somebody going to kill somebody. And then both of you go to the pastor and the pastor say, two of you should stay in this marriage and work it out. You know, you, you, you should give God a chance. And he goes to his wife and sleep and enjoy life. And both of you are fighting it out there. Because they married. Wrong foundations can lead to sudden death. Wrong foundations. Failures, disappointment can lead to sudden death. But then let's go to the supernatural side. Now, let me tell you, if you do not take care of your mind and protect your mind, if you do not protect your mind, you will suffer from and sudden death will come to you. You need to protect. That's why you have to be careful about whose voice you are listening to. When you know that somebody is a problem person, why do you still want to go there? Why is it that you've, you've not yet taken time to really find out about something and you want to rush into it? It leads to sudden death, my brothers and my sisters. But now let's look at another side of it. When you begin to dream of people you've known in your past, your late mother, your late father, your late uncles, your late brothers, your late nieces, nephews, uh, your, your classmates who are already dead, you went to their burial. When you begin to see them in your dream, they begin to come to you to talk to you. You begin to go somewhere with them. Know that sudden death is looking for you. I'm serious. This is not about... Uh, let me not go there because that's very controversial. So I just want to hit this home. Just want to do a touchdown here. Make sure that you make your life to be easy on the earth. Find the best way and the cheapest and easy way to live life on earth. If not, sudden death will take you out because of the hardness and stressfulness of life. Just have the number of kids you want and shut that engine down. One man had eight children. They cannot even afford one square meal a day. And they were having children every... So I went to him, I told him, listen, if you want advice from me, I'll ask you right now, as we are talking, follow me, I'll put in the car, I'll drive you to the hospital, I'll pay for it. Let them shut down your engine. Man, you need that engine to be shut down. Hello, everybody. Over here. Good. If your husband doesn't want to shut it down, you go and shut it down. If not, suffering will kill you suddenly. Suffering is not a good thing. Let's face it. 
Some of you think that suffering is enjoyment because at the end you 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 be rewarded for having all those kids. What about if those kids done against you? What about if you suffered for all those kids, and at the end of the day, one greedy man comes and married your daughter, and your daughter never come back. They don't recognize you. Or one useless, one useless woman become the wife of your son, and that's the end of it. What do you think? You go and hang yourself. Think about that. Please mute your phone. Now, let me tell you something. Somebody can actually go to the other side, a witch doctor, a shaman, and people who practice the dark art, the art of wickedness. They can actually go to those people and pay the money and pay the money for them to release demons that walk with the spirit of death. Under the spirit of death are many demonic entities and angelic entities that walk with with that with that uh, with that arch, arch devil. And the spirit of death could be sent to take you out. Somebody who hates you, somebody who doesn't want you, somebody who envy you, jealous of your, your prosperity. That's why you have to jealously protect your life before God. Sometimes they wait to see when you are weak and sick. That's when they want to strike. You are sick, you are weak, you are tired. That's when you begin to dream of somebody pleading with you to cross the water and come to the other side. Have you not seen it? I at one time was so sick, I was in the hospital, and I was dreaming of somebody begging me to cross to the other side. I refused. My spirit said to me, don't go. In my dream, while I was in the hospital, one of the funniest places where you have the spirit of death in operation, and a lot of people do not know it, is in hospitals and clinics. Except the doctor and the people there are born again Christians who have sanctified that place. The spirit of death is always waiting. At the operation table, the surgery suite, it will take people out. Have you not seen people? While they have been operated, they leave, they never come back. Have you not seen people after the operation, they wheel them to ICU and they never make it. They go from there, they deteriorate. Because the spirit of death is very present in hospitals. It's not a fun place to be. Hospital is not a fun place to be. The spirit of death could be sent to anybody. So you have to be very careful. What do your dream means? What is this atmosphere means? You have to be very careful. Who are these people that I'm ruling with? There are people whom because you're born again, spirit filled, and God has blessed you, become a target for the devil. And sudden death comes. For example, Miss B of, of, of Wisconsin is telling us of the daughter. They would have been taken out quickly. Now let me tell you why. Miss B, yes. listen to this. Mm -hmm. The Holy Spirit told me last year that the greatest investment of God is human beings. That's his greatest treasure. And that his greatest weapon is family. God's greatest investment or treasure or money is human beings. Or gold is human beings. 
We are so important to God that you have no idea. And his greatest weapon is families. So if the devil is able to destroy a whole family, he's achieved a lot. Don't let him. If he's able to take out an individual, he's achieved a lot. So I want you to think about that. You are very important. That's why the enemy doesn't like family. Because you are the weapon of God to strike back, to strike at him. When you begin to go to all these other places to look for help, to ask for help from darkness, don't you know you are also asking help from the spirit of death? Don't you know that? Don't you know that he's going to come to you to ask for more money? There are a lot of things that you can never do without somebody dying. There are a lot of magic that can never happen. There are devils that will never come to aid or come out of their pit without a human being being sacrificed. This is true. Or animals. Blood must be given. And devils are bloodthirsty. If you are going to be godly and you want to be godly in Christ Jesus, the war is already declared. I want you to lift up your hand to heaven and begin to pray. Because many of you, you've seen too many death in your family. It's about time you put a stop to it. Tonight, I want you to put a stop to sudden death in your family. Talk to the spirit of death to leave you and leave your family alone. If it's not happening in your family, problems are already happening in your family that will lead to sudden death. Little sicknesses, the person is dead. Little problem, the person is dead. Little anxiety, the person is dead. Lift up your hand to heaven and begin to ask God to fill you with power and protection and privileges against the spirit of death and command him to leave you and command him to leave everything about you. The problems in your life is to lead to death. Begin to reject it now. Begin to reject it. Begin to reject it in Jesus' name. We reject the spirit of death in Jesus' name. We reject the power and privilege. If you want to keep quiet, that is your that is your problem. It's none of my business. My job is to tell you what God says I should say. It's your it's your job now to refuse these things.
sickness world, I break your works in Jesus' name. The reason the Son of God appeared on the earth was to take out the devil. And by his blood and power, I take out every spirit of death and its manifestation in any form in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name, in the name of Jesus, summarize your prayers, summarize your prayers, summarize your prayer. Geneva, talk to them to summarize their prayers. Summarize your prayers. Summarize your prayers. In the name of Jesus. Every one of you place your right hand. Is somebody sleeping again right now? No, they were breathing hard. Okay, okay. Something, something, when I'm thinking. Okay. The reason why you see me, I'm moving back. I'm moving back the, the, the conference from 9 o'clock to 8 o'clock Central Time, which is 9 o'clock Eastern. It's so that is so that you don't become tired and begin to sleep on the conference. So when you come to the conference, the conference is now, from now on, please take note. The conference is no longer 9 o'clock my time. It is now 8 o'clock Central Time. 8 o'clock Central Time means 6 o'clock in the Pacific West. It means 9 o'clock in the East Coast. Please, when it is 9 o'clock, if you live in the East Coast, come to the conference. If it is 6 o'clock in the evening, in the Pacific West, come to my conference. My conference now is 8 o'clock so that you don't sleep. Because many of you have complained that at that 9 o'clock, that it is 10 o'clock in the East Coast. It is 10 o'clock in Toronto. So I, I have adjusted it to fit with you. So eight o'clock my time, eight o'clock my time is nine o'clock in that place and six o'clock in the Pacific is it's nine o'clock. So don't don't come don't come to the conference when it has already ended. I will try to make sure this is what I'm gonna do. Any topic that I wanna teach, I'm gonna divide it into two so that I can teach a little bit, then I'll teach the following time. I'll finish it. So that we can keep it within 40 minutes and go away. I don't, I don't want it to be longer anymore. I want us to spend more time to pray and for God to pour his power and glory into us than even in the teaching. I will teach a little bit and we will pray. Depending on how the prayer is, then we will go from there. I want you to get more things from God than get more things from me. But sometimes revelation, revelation leads to um, uh, receiving. Revelation leads to receiving. Without revelation, you cannot receive. So many a times, teaching has to happen first, then receiving happens second. Other times, people receive first, and then they are taught how to keep what they've received. Let me begin to pray for you. I break down the spirit. I break down the spirit of death. The spirit of death that has been manifesting in diverse ways. The spirit of death that is waiting for the other spirit to strike. Then it will give the final blow. The spirit of death that has released. Spirit of sickness and pain and poverty and quarrel and anger and anxiety. 
all other spirits and is waiting to hit the final blow. I destroy you tonight. I bind you. I take dominion over you. I command you. I take that authority and power out of you to torment people and put them in fear. I destroy your power tonight. Freedom. Return back to the people of God. Prosperity. Return back to you tonight. I take out every spirit of death and sudden death that we intelligently hatched in darkness to take you out without you knowing it. People of God, what I'm talking about is hatched in darkness. It's an egg laid in darkness and carried out quietly without you knowing it. Sometimes the spirit of death is killing you slowly. You don't even know it. There is somebody that God has been warning you. You are an alcoholic. Stop it. Because where you have the greatest weakness is where the spirit of death will strike at you. Others, it is... Others, it is... Other, others, it is... The of others, it, it please be quiet. I'm ministering. Others, it is the spirit of... Uh, it is tobacco. You've been on... on, um, on, on uh, you've been smoking. And you've been told, stop it. Because the spirit of death will take you through emphysema quickly. Spirit of death hide behind those things to take you out. Some it is gambling. You gamble away all your money and finally the spirit of death will tell you that there is no... Um, see, depression simply means that you believe there is no way out. Hopelessness and helplessness is the meaning of depression. And he will tell you to take your life. In the name of Jesus, I destroy everything through which the spirit of death is trying to take your life. Because that gives them pleasure. That gives them success. I bind you guys from operating in the life of my people tonight. Nagash, in the name of Jesus, I tear down the spirit of death from your life. Are you listening? Yes, Father. I tear down the spirit of death from you. Anything that you acquire from your culture, I tear them down. Anybody who has acquired anything that is disturbing you, tonight I tear them down. I destroy them by the power invested in me by Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. I bind and I dominate and I take down anything that came to take you down. I take them down. Any one false move, I take you all down and I hit each of you on the jaw. Darkness, I hit you on the jaw with the blood of the Son of God. He defeated each and every one of you on the cross. And demonstrated that when he came to each and every one of you in the underworld and he rose again from the dead. I am seated with him in the heavenly places. And because I am seated with him above all dominion and thrones and name ever to be ever to be named, I exercise authority. I exercise dominion and the power of the throne. I exercise the Lordship in Christ Jesus over each and every one of you tonight that none of you will die. None of you will have sudden death killing you anymore. Members of your family have been taken out, but you are not going to be taken out. I reveal that word to you tonight that no power of darkness is going to take you out except you rebel against God. Or you walk away from Christ Jesus. Each and every one of you go in peace. And remember to go to my website. It became every ministry. I want to pray for Barbara. In the name of Jesus. Jesus hear me. 
hear me tonight as I cry out on behalf of Barbara. Give me miracles, signs, and wonders for this lady. I want it now. I want financial breakthrough for her. I bring a lot of her giving before you. And I command a breakthrough that nothing can stop. Now, I come into the second heaven with anger. Give way. Get off. And back off. Everything that has been released to this woman that is being blocked up there, get off. And let those things begin to come right now. Father, everyone who have given to me, even right now when we are looking for you to prosper also that we can pay off things that we owe here and there, things that need to be paid that we've not yet paid. Lord, I have done what you say I should do. Teach minister daily to your people I have not failed you and those of your children who have backed me up must prosper from this night i'm not gonna take no for an, for an answer i'm not gonna take any delay for an answer i won't because each of these people i am training them on how they are able to handle money and greatness so they are not gonna disappoint you i mean it they are not gonna walk away so give it to them it's about time Give it to them. It's about time. There are many of them looking for children. Many of them looking for husband, wife. And as I pray today, never give any of the daughter of Zion, any man who comes with problems. Or any woman who comes with problems. We want problem-free uh, uh, wives, problem-free husband. Tonight, I am asking the treasure house to open let the treasure house in heaven open. And anybody who is disabled or suffering from any pain, let the hospital of heaven open. I command this to happen because you have invested authority in me to ask for things and it is given. And tomorrow, I want to begin to hear testimonies happening all over the world because of this prayer tonight. In Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen. People of God, if Amen. you feel God moves you to, 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 to give to what I'm doing around the world, it's left for you to do. God bless you and keep you. Go to my site, the Dikai Mary Ministry, and read about um, the, Jacob, uh, the, the Joshua Caleb Ministry. If you feel God is calling you for you to help supply my personal needs so that I can be in ministry, Join the Joshua Caleb ministry. If you feel God is calling you uh, to, to, to fame, greatness, and being a millionaire or a billionaire, go and join the Millionaire Club. Go to my side, you'll see how that is done. Please, I want more of you to begin to watch these videos. I know that I've thrown out a lot. If you guys want me to stop putting out the videos, then I will just stop. What we will do is we will just come and uh, I, will, I will begin to put the videos on an external hard drive and they will not come on YouTube. So when we finish conference like this, you won't see it on YouTube. Because if people are not watching them, then I will stop producing them in there. Then I will start making them for sale. I think that's what I should start doing. Maybe that's when people wake up to it. And if you watch the videos, put in comments there that shows that you appreciate them. Like them. Put some comments there. And then you can also email it to family, to a friend, put them on Facebook, wherever. If you find a website where I can put the videos, I can put, uh, 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 I can write Christian articles, let me know. Call me, tell me, or send me the website for those places, if it is free. Even if it's to be paid for, there should be people who, I want to be sending you a morning blast. It costs me, it costs me money for me to send text messages to you guys. Bulk text messages. I'm not even talking of voicemail. All this costs money. How I managed to do it, I don't even know. There are just few of you who are helping me do this. So please, please help us do, do the work of ministry. Because every soul that is saved 
you are part of the serving of that person through your giving or through your prayers. That's all I want to say to you. So I will see you guys tomorrow by 8 o'clock. The person that asked about where the spirit of death comes from, go to the YouTube video and review the video so you can have a clear understanding. You may have missed that part. Okay. Oh, okay, sure. All right, good Thank night. everyone. Right, good night, everyone, and God be with you. Bye-bye. Thank you, Father. Yes.